Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, has on Sunday conducted a voting day simulation exercise to give Kenyans a clear picture of what they expect on August 9th as the countdown to the decisive day continues. Now, in the simulation, IBC has documented how the polling station will be set out, the requirements for voters to participate in the election, the voting process, and possibly challenges that may arise and how to tackle them. Here is our reporter, Henry Tende, with the details of that simulation exercise. After the curtain successfully closed for campaigns ushering in a tense countdown to the election day, the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission IEBC on Sunday conducted a voting day simulation in the Commission's continuation of voter education initiative. This media center being turned into a polling center, albeit momentarily. IEBC depicting a clear picture of how the presiding officers and the polling clerks will carry out the exercise in the presence of the observers, party agents and security officers to give Kenyans a feel of what they expect. The commission insists on registered voters bearing the required documents used when enlisting as voters will be given the go-ahead to participate in this democratic process. For identifying a voter at the polling station, one, it is the national identification document, the document that the voter used to register as a voter, and secondly, it is a Kenyan passport. Additionally, IEBC has laid bare some of the challenges expected on the voting day and how they will be dealt with. Process, and uh, I have been given a ballot paper. Ballot paper, let <laughs> Why did you clear a voter without valid Kenyan documents? Arrest. No, come, come, come around, come around. I want to give you some money. Please take her up. Video. Please sit down at her position. You'll be class number one. <laughs> uh, because this clerk has, uh, has tried to do what is illegal, we've had her arrested. The imposter is also arrested. I've replaced the clerk with my deputy presiding officer so that voting will continue as we process those criminals uh, using the provided legal mechanisms. To make sure all registered voters are given ample time to vote, the commission has put in place elaborate mechanisms to facilitate Kenyans' challenge differently to vote for their preferred candidates. This even as IEBC has given a clarion call on registered voters to come out in large numbers to vote, with the commission assuring Kenyans that the process will be transparent and credible. Henry Tende, Look Up TV, Nairobi. Now still 